Lettering is an important part of most embroidery designs. Hatch offers many features based on world-recognized commercial digitizing software. In this series of videos, I would like to walk you through one step at a time, beginning with producing a simple line of lettering. From the toolbox, select Lettering. As with all other toolbox options, the Object Properties box will open on the right of your work area. I like to choose my font and letter height before adding my lettering. The baseline should default to the first option, which is free line. Add your lettering to the text box. As you type, the letters appear on the work area to give you a great visual of the result. The free line baseline will create a line long enough to accommodate the letters at their natural width. To demonstrate, I will activate the reshape tool and add more letters to the line, and you can see the line grows with the letters. In fact, all properties change on the screen as the properties are changed in the box. Try changing the letter height or even a baseline. There are a few special baselines which deserve a more complete explanation, so I will deal with them in a future video, but please test a few for yourself. Further down the list, under the Advanced tab, you can change the natural width of the letters. Apply italics or slant and close spacing between characters. You can also change the stitch direction and even stitch from the center out for caps. Want to change a color? Select the object and choose a new color from the palette. There is much more we can do with lettering this covers some of the basics. In the following video, I will talk about the baselines. For now, I encourage you to test what is covered here. Change the font, the baseline, and color, and get instant results. Remember, most fonts will have a best range of size to stitch nicely. Test a few and find some favorites. In the next couple of videos, I'll show you how to get results like this.